welcome maniacs to arc modded maniac server yes brand new series this is technically season two because season one was technically the kind of server would spend it's the same server it's the same game it's it's we're just a little bit more um into uh, i made more of a base but it is modded now and it is a maniac server of course available for my patreons but i want to give you guys a little quick tour i guess a little kind of you know what what you miss or what you kind of um <laughs> i have bert over there bert is the trike that is on wonder and he has about, I don't know, like maybe 15 Delos following him. Some of them are set to aggressive. So he just like, it's just set on wonder around the place to kind of level up. They, I don't know, they level up the dinos and stuff and they collect chitin. That's exactly really what I did this for is to get like more chitin from the bugs. Because there's a couple bugs on the land and I wanted them to do that. But they also do like, they collect, you know, stuff. So... <laughs> if ever you're like wondering like going like what the hell is going on that's Bert <laughs> but uh yeah I have a couple dinos I've been collecting dinos I have been utilizing um the fact that a lot of dinos get stuck on the beach in the palm trees I don't know when they're gonna fix that but as long as they don't fix it I'm gonna you know little Mr. Boo Boo um I am in the process of trying to get the uh, the raptor army going and gonna have Mr. Boo Boo as, as soon as I get a saddle for Mr. Boo Boo um, I am going to pretty much do the same thing that I did over with Bert over there but I'm gonna set that on wonder but uh, yeah I'm gonna think about that but yeah I'm in the process of collecting a whole bunch of dinos to try to get things done but that's not really what is important what is important is we're gonna go over like some of the mods right after we do this update of what is my base right now. So my house is in the process of being done. Um, this obviously on the side was temporary. It was just to put the dinos in a safe place because I am not used to servers. You know, like the fact that the server still runs when you're not playing, I'm not used to that. Uh, so yeah, the, so I eventually installed uh, fences around here in the front because it was getting crowded in there, trust me. Um, and this is the Better Fence mod, which I also... I will go over every single mod that I have on the server this episode. Uh, really quickly, though, but a uh, little kind of a uh, oh, bird's eye view. Ooh, this, uh, this is the Small Gates mod, uh, which is kind of cool because it gives you, like, small gates. I find that the doors in vanilla... Uh, arc are just they're bad i'm sorry but they really are so i really love these little doors i think they're perfect um i really like them i, I they're really cool they're they're perfect um mm, what else do i have well oh yeah well i have my garden started of course i um i have uh narco berries and stem berries going this is blood and bones this is part of the uh wait it's arkumon yeah, Aku, Akushima. What's going on? Bert. Ah, uh, Bert, don't get close to us, please. You make all my dinos rattle here, and they just kind of go crazy, and they're kind of like, what's going on? But, uh, yeah, no, no, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the Akushima, I hope I'm saying that right. The Akushima mod, uh, I made the mulcher, right? So, I thought when I read it, it says it makes a whole. Um, if you read the Ingram, let's look at a mulcher. Okay, if you read this, it says use this bad boy to make blood and bones. And then when you look at blood and bones, uh, blood and bones, it says a superior mulch for the crops. So I'm like, oh, cool, because I was. Uh, my crops kept downgrading all the time by the time that I was off. Okay, hold on two seconds. I am going to fix this. Okay, just remove the bloom. <laughs> um, okay, so basically what I was saying uh, was that I thought it was going to be stronger than the fertilizer. Okay. Uh, I thought it was going to be stronger than the fertilizer. Uh, the, here, oh, let, let me show you. This will be so Oh, much better. So I really thought that making the, the, the blend bones would probably buy me a lot more time. 
Hmm, let's pick a plot that should be empty. No, none of them are empty by now. Okay, uh, this is what I was checking. So, just one fertilizer is four, uh, is 54,000. So I was like, okay, okay, that's, that's not bad, that's good, it's good. So I'm like, oh, this must be so beasty. 64,000. Just 10,000 more. So you're like, oh, well, you know, it's still better than nothing, right? The issue about that is you need meat, fresh meat, not rotten meat. I thought it was rotten meat. No, no, fresh meat, keratin, thatch, and poop. So down the line, it's really not worth it because your keratin is very, to me, it's, it's, I need it a lot. I need it for a lot of things. And the meat, I mean, like, if it was rotten meat, poop and thatch, I would say, like, yeah, definitely. But for this recipe here, to only give 10,000 more per, per thing? Nah, I don't know. It wasn't worth it, but I at least I tried it. But I'm in the process of learning these mods because I have played a little bit with them um, on my single player, but I haven't experienced all of them. But, uh, so basically I have... Building extras, you know, you guys know about uh, about this mod probably because it was one of the most downloaded, uh, most described <laughs> mod out there. So, and I, that is just, oh, is it in there? No, it's not. Um, basically, I just added it this weekend. Um, let's go in here. There's a, you can't see, oh, right here. It adds a whole bunch of items, but I need to craft. I think I need to build the, the building constructor in order to see all the engrams because there's apparently a whole, uh, over 130 mods, uh, not mods, but items that come with it. But you have here like a weapon shop, a, keb a kibble vending machine, summon Dave. I have no idea, but it's like if I feel like probably it's like the Dodo or the Dodo Rex or something like that. It'd be cool. But I saw this here and I was like, oh, wait, this this is interesting. The metal cube. The stone cube, the wood cube, and the thatch cube. So I was like, okay, but then when you read it, a cube for Minecraft type of building. I am not sure, but I really want to try it out because if this could technically be a good solution to do fence around this border to kind of make it like, you know, more secure without, uh, cause I think putting fences down and putting a wall is like, it's, it's more annoying than anything, which is why I love the fence mod. Uh, the better fence mod like this because you can it's a very cheap uh solution to enclose your dinos in without having to put a foundation down but uh yeah um i also have the paint mixer um that is i'm looking forward to it because i want to paint like one i noticed i didn't even know that but when i found out about how you can literally paint everything in this game or customize stuff i was like wait you can the painting recipes really are annoying. No offense to the devs, but I mean, they are annoying. Um, so yeah, so basically you can, uh, is it these ones? Yeah, I think so. You you create the paint mixer right here. Uh, I Yeah, you need power, which I don't have yet, but, and you just easily, you access the paint mixer, boof and you make the color, you select the color, and you make it like that. I think that is a whole lot better. Um, I also got better torches. It should be in here. All the mods are, are should be around here somewhere. Uh, so yeah, better torches. Uh, just because of the colors, I really thought it was cool. And apparently they shine a lot brighter. Um, and just a better wall torch too. It's just, I don't know. It was just kind of why not right it, even though this it's eternal day on the server because i mean we can't see nothing at night so <laughs> um i also have uh the small gate mod like i just showed you guys i also have um a multifunction spotlight um which i don't know if it's in here uh spotlight would it be like spotlight let's look mm, no nope I don't know. I, I really don't know what it would be called. Uh, I just thought it looked like a pretty light fixture uh, that you can set, like different settings. Oh, it's really not in here. We're gonna have to figure this one out, like where it is. Um, I also have 
uh, refrigerated feeding uh, bin. That is going to be really good because right now my um, my feeding bin is going down so fast. So what I did because like I used to like fill it up like to the max and just be kind of like Oop. no, <laughs> I didn't have time to pick it up. Um, I I would feed it up, but look how how fast it just kind of dies down. This is this was all 20 packs uh, before I went to bed last night. So uh, that's why I'm really looking forward to getting power and getting at least this these levels cool down. And the worst part about this is that I did boost up the spoiling time. So the timers are boosted up. And even then, I'm still not catching up to, to the, like, the meat and stuff. So I cooked a lot of it, hoping that maybe the animals are going to eat the cooked meat. But apparently they don't. They only do um, in the, the carnivores when you're trying to tame them. So we're going to have to figure that one out. But uh, advanced architecture mod. Uh, you guys know from my single player. Um, well, I hope. Look, I could show you at the bottom here. It just has a whole bunch of stuff. Like crazy stuff. Like fireplaces. I think this is like... This is okay, that's the workstation. Uh, there's like carpets. You can literally make a castle. I'm not too sure about that right right away, but I mean like decorations and stuff. Throne rooms, like you have no idea. This is definitely going to be really, really fun to build with. Um, I also, the planting mod. Yes, you guys know. I That is one thing I think really lacks in the base game. Uh, being able to plant trees where you want so the planting mod definitely a big must for me i also have jones death helper and i've already used it and trust me i am so thankful that it was there uh, basically you have to, you can craft it right here a corpse finder or a suicide potion if ever you get stuck which i have used in my single player by the way uh, but the corpse finder basically is when you die you just load it up and you can easily find your body which is great and if your body it got eaten well it will direct you to your bag uh i have arc automated which i will be doing very very soon the compost bin and the fertilizer and the egg crate and incubator really amazing mod it is I need I think automation is like something that is lacking too. I really love animation. Uh, automation, sorry, not animation, but automation in the base game, it would be amazing. I also have the better fence with like I told you guys, the water, better water tanks. Um uh, well, I could just show you really really quickly here. Uh the water tanks there like I mean, this is, if you could see, it's just normal. I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's the exact same price. It's one stone and one cement paste to fix. So it's not really that expensive, but it's the exact same recipes as the vanilla one, if I'm not mistaken. But if you look at the water right now, um, it is uh, 1600 But here is the vanilla one that I put down, 200 So 200 you really don't have enough for anything. You basically drink water and it's gone. Uh, so like me, what I do is I put, oops, see, I just drank the water. Uh, I put these in, in order to get more water. Uh, but instead I just got this and I was like, oh, this is perfect. This definitely irrigates the crops enough, uh, for everything. And that's all I wanted. I wanted kind of a carefree water system. Cause I didn't want pipe going all the way to the water over there. I was kind of like, eh. So yeah, better day. Oh, the science class. This is this is definitely something that I've been looking so much forward to. Basically, you can create, you craft an alchemy's lab, which allows you to craft a whole bunch of stuff. So it gives purpose to a lot of things in the game. That I mean, I that's why I want to get started with this today for sure. Uh, if you could see, all the berries can be crafted into powders that then after that can be used for uh, stuff. Like you can make salts. So basically the salts is, uh, it gives you the anti-torpor effect without dehydrating you, which that's really good for you. Uh, nightshade oil, uh, strong torpor effect, and it actually slows you down also. You can even put that on arrows, uh, bandages, which is a slow healing over time. Uh, the dino tonic, which can uh, heal up an uh, injured dino. 
Uh, you have even, like, I think it's bomb uh, healing. You have one that for your whole par party. Like, it's crazy. And you have, like, cool stuff, too. I really love. Like, there's a simple girly bed uh, with, like, pink stuff. It's just this mod is really amazing. I, I just can't wait. There's so much. All this, like, all this is part of it. And I can't wait to craft everything and just get into this mod, like, you have no idea. Look, I mean, th think about it. Dehydrated shadow steak. It's just, it's a food bill. Come on. This is freaking amazing. You can actually put the food into a bill. So I really am wondering, though, if it has any spoiling time. Because if it doesn't have spoiling timer, this would actually be like, this, this will be like the most amazing mod ever. <laughs> so I really want to get this one started. Um... I also have the gate mod, which is basically, uh, I don't know if, if we can see the engrams in here or if they're not unlocked. Let's look at the gate mod. Uh, the gate mod is basically, uh, yeah, right here. It's a lower, you have lower or bigger versions of the gates, which I think that's really cool. And what I mean by that is that, like, let's say the wooden gate, it gives you a smaller, like, too, too wide uh, door or like the behemoth size, which I think that's really cool because it kind of for the building if you really want Let's say wood you have the option and not stuck with like a behemoth stone gate or something like that So I think that that's really awesome uh, Of course, like I I said the Akuma Shima. I hope I hope I'm pronouncing that right uh, but the Kumashima mod, uh, which has a whole bunch of stuff too that I haven't gone over yet, which I am looking forward to trying. Of course, I did try the Mulcher, which I was a little disappointed, but I still will look into some other mods that were really, really cool. Uh, the cooking extras. Are they in here? They gotta be some... I'm looking forward to trying that too. Cooking extra. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, those are things like the Kuma, like Kibble Matic, um, Super Fabricator, Alchemy Kit, which apparently is a portable one, which that is kind of cool. Uh, you have some stuff. You have a gun, I think. Or is that just... Uh, nope, it's a narcotic bullet, which is kind of cool. Um, store your paint. Ooh, that's that's cool. A whip, weapon locker. It's all stuff like that, which is really, really kind of fun. Okay, um, the cooking extras, there you go. Here are the cooking extras. You get a pantry, you get a whole bunch of stuff, cooking stove. You can make trail mix, um, uh, which is not for taming, but it's really kind of cool that you can turn a lot of your foods into something. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. The plumbing, I'm not too sure. I will have to look into that to see if the plumbing is better than the pipes that we have over here. But I just thought it was kind of cool to have an actual kitchen because I feel like it kind of lacks a little bit. And of course I have the stairs and the, the rounded walls. I did not try the rounded walls yet, but I mean, there's like, you could make like castles and stuff like that, probably cool buildings. But the stairs, obviously you guys saw. Wow, I've been talking so long in the menu that... Oh, wait. I need to collect the poop, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, look, the stairs. I just think, I don't even know why there's no stairs in the base game, but, I mean, definitely, I love the stairs. They're just really, really good addition. Um, and the rounded stairs are beautiful, which I'm looking forward to trying this out, too. But, uh, yeah, um... I think that this is pretty much it. I don't believe I have any more. Um, if the round of stairs. No, I think that's the only ones. For now. Which is actually a lot of mods if you think about it. But, uh, I don't know. I, I think that's, it's pretty... It's a pretty good choice. It's really hard to maintain a modded server because every time there's an update, you need to manually update it. Uh, so it's a lot of uh, updating. But... I kind of like it. I wanted to show you guys a bird's eye view, but no, because there's mist everywhere. Damn it. But, yes, so this is really just an update to show you guys what this series is pretty much going to be about. It's going to be twice a week. It's going to be about trying these mods out, playing with Ark, really getting, like, enjoying it. I want to, it's, it's weird to say, but I really want to get into the taming and, well, not the taming, but, um into the breeding and really trying to see like how we can utilize the breeding to its fullest to try to see if we can actually uh 
by mixing and mixing and mixing some if we can get stats really high up and make really cool dino or there's like a buffer on it that really prevents you from doing it i really want to get into that but mostly i really want to try out the mods so and uh of course play with you guys that's what's gonna be super awesome of course this month was kind of really announced at the last second so nah people mostly pledge for next month so starting next month we're gonna have probably a whole bunch of people on the server which is gonna be freaking amazing of course you can join too if you sign up before the end of the month you will get access to the month after and yeah so go check out patreon if you want to join us and we're gonna be building a whole bunch of cool stuff it's gonna be freaking amazing so i'm looking forward to that and starting that out and we're gonna see you all next episode bye <laughs> bye everybody see you next time so that is all for today's episode don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed to show your support and join the maniac family if you haven't already by pressing that subscribe button right here also i invite you to check out my other channels like here on the bottom left is all the live streams and events you might have missed while on the top right is where i upload a whole bunch of random videos like vlogs diy q a's and lots of cool stuff and of course you can always come and interact with me and the rest of the maniacs on my social medias and get the latest news